FuseTube chat has got himself into some big, big controversies. Now, chances are that whenever you hear that name FuseTube, your first reaction will be like, what? Who? Who's that? But if you've been on YouTube for a long enough time, you probably know who FuseTube is. Long story short, he swatted himself. He's a streamer that swatted himself. Yes, called the police on himself and basically got swatted by himself. I know it sounds wild. Let me give you some context and let me tell you everything that happened and everything that you need to know about this topic. So if you don't know anything about FuseTube, FuseTube was a YouTuber that used to do pranks in the same generation as Vitaly, I think it was, or people like that that used to do pranks. Some of them pretty wild, some of them uh, very much wild and controversial. That's um, That was that generation of pranksters. Most of them used to do harmless pranks, they thought, but most of them were not harmless at all. Now, I don't know exactly, uh, to give you an example right now, and I'm not sure exactly how many uh, bad pranks he has been doing because I didn't really watch him very much at that time. I just knew about his existence and all I know about him and all I knew about him up until a few days ago was that he left YouTube because of some serious mental issue problems. He legit has mental issue problems. He struggles with mental health. Now, that does not excuse the actions that we're going to be describing right now. But that just puts things into perspective, like we're not talking about, ah, oh, this dude is crazy. No, no, he is actually suffering from a mental disorder. He has maniac episodes. So this is for real when I'm, when I'm saying this. And because of that, he made the right choice, in my opinion, which is to get behind, to just step away from YouTube and focus on his well-being. That was a very good move, in my opinion. But you see, that uh, great move did not last very long my dear adventurers. That uh, great move was um, soon changed whenever FuseTube started streaming once more on Kick. Initially, the streams, from what I've heard, again, I don't watch him necessarily, but from what I've heard, initially his streams were very wholesome, community-focused and stuff like that. And then once he started getting some attention, once the cloud kicked in, he started acting like a ravaging horse and he basically got, uh, it, it got to his head, basically. It got to his head. He started doing some wild stuff on stream. He started behaving in a very, very wild way up until a few weeks ago when he actually had one of the worst incidents that you can imagine. Basically, there's multiple articles about it. I'm not going to be going into very great details. I just want to give you the context behind this. Basically, he was in an airport where he met a girl that was absolutely drunk, like hammered drunk. We're talking about cannot even walk, cannot even speak, like as drunk as you can be before you collapse and just sleep for the next 12 hours, just to wake up and wonder, where am I? Like, that's how drunk we're talking. And uh, this girl has been chatting with him. He's been chatting with her. They've been interacting with each other. And basically in their conversation, I'm not sure exactly how it came to that, she revealed that she was a victim of sexual trafficking. So that's a pretty, pretty rough thing uh, to go through. That's a nightmare situation, if you ask me. And uh, after learning that, FuseTube reacted in a very, very poor way, in my opinion. He basically went with her in the toilet and had sex with her. Like, straight up. That's just... I... I it, I, ha I am speechless. I am speechless. They went... I mean, allegedly, that's what he said on stream. Like, he had, like, a 10-minute break. As, keep in mind, this was all on a in-real-life stream. He disappeared for, like, 10 minutes. Then he returned very proud of himself, saying, hey, 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 I joined the Mile High Club. But not really, because we're still uh, we're still here, you know? Like, that's just, that's just wild, Chad. That is just wild. Especially after the person we're talking about admitted that she was a victim of... Um, sexual trafficking. Now, of course, after the chat started calling him out and after the chat started saying things like, oh, Fusey, that's messed up. Did you, didn't you hear what she said? Like, that's just messed up, Fusey, dude. That's just really messed up. She sta he started playing it like a joke and I hope it's a joke. I don't know. I truly hope it's a joke. But chances are, I don't think it's a joke. He basically started saying, ah, oh, it's a prank. You fell for the good old prank. Ah, oh, you've been pranked. Do you remember when I used to do pranks? Hey, you've been pranked. It's wild. This was uh, the start of the downward spiral. Since this stream went live, he started doing a sabaton. Sabaton that attracted even more viewers towards him. From what I've heard, FuseTube reached like 70k viewers or something like that on Kick, which is like puts him in the front of kick he was the face of kick basically one of the biggest streamers on kick and as you can imagine he got a ton of attention from that but because he was getting so much attention the clout affected him even more and i want to be absolutely clear with this i'm not making this video to bash fusitube even though he very much deserves it but i feel like this is a sad 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 moment like i, I am more sad 
about FuseTube than angry about him. Now, of course, there's also some angriness over there because he has done very questionable things. But I'm sad because right now, basically, FuseTube transformed into a freak show for Twitch chat. Because you see, instead of Kick, instead of his friends, instead of his chat, realizing that, man, this is a dude with actual mental problems. They're like having fun, like, hey, I hope he doesn't take his medications, people in the chat have been saying. FuseTube himself has been bragging about the fact that he did not take his medications. And it shows! And it shows! And instead of Kick putting an end to this, pressing the stop button, banning everybody or kicking everybody just to stop this madness, Kick is just, huh? What? F Fusey what? As if they don't notice what's happening. He was the face of Kick, so it's very much something that they've noticed. And it's very sad to see the um, people going around watching FuseyTube, not necessarily to support him, not necessarily to see what, he's all, what, what the old school content creator is doing and how he's doing nowadays and stuff like that. They're watching him to see the freak show. They're watching him to see what's happening next. They're watching him to see what's the next crazy stuff that he's doing. Because keep in mind, he's streaming 24-7. If he has a Maniac episode, which he did, it's gonna show on stream. Now, one of those Maniac episodes, uh, well, he had one of those Maniac episodes a few days ago, he basically had a moment in which on Twitch he has like a he had like a long stream. Uh, he had a mental uh, a mental moment while he was in an Airbnb. He got kicked out of the Airbnb. He had to uh, sleep at a hotel. Like they found a hotel, they slept all over there. And while all of this was happening, he was being harassed by a bully. Now that bully is absolutely one thousand percent in the wrong. You should never harass a person. This guy basically called him. I'm not sure exactly how he got his hand on him on his number. He started calling him telling him that, uh, oh man, I called your parents, I'm gonna kill you, come here. Uh, he gave his address, like for FuseyTube to come over there. Basically this happened in Florida, as far as I'm, I'm aware of, where if you step on somebody's property, you can actually get shot by that person in self-defense. That's kind of how it's uh, seen as far as I know. I'm not American, so I don't know exactly how this law works. It's kind of wild for me as a Romanian to hear about that, but uh, I guess different strokes for different folks. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Uh, out in America. So basically this guy, uh, the internet troll, was provoking FuseyTube to just get himself into the property of this guy so he can shoot him. Now again, th this is just basically internet troll language. We've had this even on our streams and I'm averaging like 200 viewers. So if I had problems with this, you can imagine how much more problems the bigger content creators are having. But the surprising part is that even though FuseyTube has definitely been through this in the past, because internet harassment is a thing that I feel like all of us are aware of. Not all of us have had experience with, but all of us are aware of. So instead of doing the right thing and ignoring the person, ignoring the threats and realizing that it's just a random dude on the internet that's just threatening stuff, he actually really started having a mental breakdown. He really believed that this guy would, um, would come and would kill him up to the point in which he actually swatted himself. This was a video recorded in the hotel room because again, all of this was live on kick. So what you see right now was part of a live stream. It was all recorded. J just watch, it's wild stuff. Here, calm down, bro. Ma'am, my calm life down. is in danger. Intercontinental Miami. Where are you, sir? Now, just to give you some context, FuseyTube right now was on the call with 911. Before this happened, during the stream that you're watching right now, the segment of the stream that you're watching right now, in this stream, he basically physically assaulted multiple streamers. Like, it, he has behaved wildly. And every single time he's done something like this, instead of the chat calling him out and being like, hey man, that's messed up, they were applauding like watching a monkey do a monkey show. They were applauding like watching a, a caged animal perform a trick at a circus like they were they somehow forgot that FuseyTube again he's very much in the wrong I am not defending him but he is a human somebody needs to plug this stream off and stop him from streaming kick needs to stop this stream from happening because it's uh, because it's legitimately like legitimately hurting FuseyTube somebody one of the one of his friends need to just call him out on this and straight up stop him from doing this because he is hurting both himself and a lot of other people. Um, and instead of doing that, a lot of streamers are just basically coming in, leeching on him, uh, trying to gain some clout from his clout. And they're calling him, they're calling themselves friends, even though they're not helping FuseyTube in any way, shape or form to stop this. Straight up, straight up. Now with that context in mind, this is what happened while FuseyTube was in the hotel room. He was on the call with 911, as we see right here. I'm in the this is his manager or his um, security, I'm not sure. I'm the 
Now I want you to think about this for a second from the perspective of the dispatcher's call. So the person that was on the call right now, the 911 representative that was on the call right now, just heard the person call for help. And right now, the conversation has been stopped and she or he just hears two grown adults yell at each other. Okay, we, we can see this. We can see two people arguing. They're not the enemies. They're not a problem. But from the dispatcher's point of view, this is a serious problem. He is in a hotel right now. So the whole hotel might be in danger because of someone's reckless actions. I told you I'm gonna die tonight, you want me to relax? No, sit down and let me give her the address. Send the fucking cops. I have to act. Now, I don't know if you know this, but screaming while you're on the 911 call is the last thing that you wanna do. Talking about escalating a situation. This is a horribly thing to do. And in my opinion, he shouldn't have been allowed to do this. Oh, but he's a grown man. Yes, he's a grown man with mental problems. He shouldn't be allowed to do this. When Kick sees this happening, they should unplug the stream. They shouldn't, this shouldn't have been present on a stream. Send the cops. Listen to this. After, after trying to convince the cops to just come, after trying to convince the dispatcher to send the cops, listen to what he said. There's a gun to my head right now. There's a gun to my head. Help, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, he left. Ma'am, he left. There's a gun to my head. Help, help, get them. Help, bye. Ma'am, intercontinental, what's my room number? Help, tell me. I he legit just swatted himself. He said he has a gun to his head while screaming in a hotel room. He was like, okay, let me give you some context. He was legitimately afraid, as far as I understand, of the person that has been harassing him. That's what caused this whole situation. So basically the person, you know, I've talked a little bit earlier about the person uh, calling in, calling him somehow. I don't know how he has his uh, phone number, but he's been calling FuseTube and saying, oh, I have your parents. I've been, I'm going to kill you. Come here. He, they gave each other's addresses. Like it was wild and stuff like that. Basically just an internet troll that I don't know how he got his hands on FuseTube's number. After that, FuseTube recently has broken up with his girlfriend. And so this person, this internet troll started saying, oh, that was not actually your girlfriend. That was a person that I planted over there so I can ruin you emotionally. Now, for everybody, that's just like, oh, what are you talking about, man? But you see, FuseTube actually believed that. FuseTube actually started believing that this guy is the mastermind that's working to ruin his life. He legitimately thought that he has been set up so that he can be killed or something. Because guess what? Mania also comes with paranoia. He has a paranoid, like he, he was basically just paranoid. He was basically just paranoid, legitimately paranoid. So he called the cops on him. In his mind, he had legitimate reasons because he had to defend himself. Maybe in his mind, he thought that the cops are also in with the internet troll. So it's just wild. And it just goes to show how sad this whole situation is. Because this is a person that needs mental health aid. This is not a person that needs a kick stream with 7,000 or 700,000 or 700 viewers. It doesn't matter. This is not a person that should be allowed to go on the internet, especially because the internet uh, is basically aiding him in his uh, mental episodes straight up because the chat while this whole thing was happening the chat was uh, like people in the chat were saying oh i'm so happy he didn't take his medicine i hope he doesn't take his medicine oh fusitive you're such a legend like they were basically encouraging him to keep this behavior going on his streamer friends friends were just sitting there getting cloud out of him they didn't care about stopping him they didn't care about calling him down they didn't care about aiding their alleged friend they just stayed there so they can leech as many viewers out of him as possible they didn't actually care about helping him and this is sad because you see media content in general any type of media content has basically made it so that people stopped associating the characters that they see on their screens with actual people you see a lot of people see the streamers and the youtubers as npcs rather than people like you, you watch a youtuber let's say and he uploads once a week and you wish that he would upload more frequently but you fail to realize that man there's reasons why that person cannot upload more frequently there's reasons why that person cannot reply to me on whatsapp if i have his whatsapp or on discord there are reasons let's say you do a twitch stream and somebody in the chat has tried to get a message across so that you can see it but you as the streamer fail to see the message that person sometimes will legitimately get mad because you didn't see the message failing to realize that man you're human maybe you're talking about something maybe you're talking about something else maybe you just want to wanted to ignore the message it happens 
But you see, because we have this separation, this screen separation between uh, the content creators and the viewers, sometimes it can come to this. And we, we've all seen this even on a personal level whenever we have the tough internet guys. You see, that's kind of the behavior that I'm talking about. And it's a big, big, big problem. So after swatting himself... And again, think about, like, just think of the implications of this chat. So a dude sitting in his hotel room just said that there's a person with a gun at his head. The dispatcher has just heard two people scream at each other. They don't know what's happening. They don't watch the stream, chances are. So this could have been really badly. The whole hotel could have been evacuated. Everybody could be placed on alert. The second FusiTube went and opened the door, I legitimately thought that I'm about to see a person die. Because in the state in which he was in, if he just pulled his hand behind his back, or had an object in hand, or anything suspicious in his hands, or do everything, anything suspicious with his hands, he would have legitimately been shot on the spot. Because those guys were ready for that. Those guys were ready for a person that's about to kill another person. I'm surprised they burst in through the door and not through the window. I'm gonna be honest. I'm surprised they, they knocked in the door and not just came through the walls. I'm, I will be honest. Like this could have been something really bad. Keep in mind, he has a security guard. Security guard that chances are he's also carrying a gun probably. Somebody could have died here. Somebody could have died here. I literally told him, if I see you, I'm sticking a knife nine inches in your neck and I'm slatting it down your penis. He gave me his address. <laughs> Sorry, that, that uh, like, I laughed because of the threat itself. That's a threat that, you see, that's the normal reaction. When you receive a threat like that, you're laughing about it. But if you legitimately have mental problems, you can, like, he believed it. He legitimately thought that that's about to happen to him. He legitimately thought that's about to happen to him. And how does he know where you're staying at? I don't, he's a stalker. Okay, and who is this guy? I don't you know fucking know. How do you want us to look for him? Like, As you can see, he also started screaming at the police. It's honestly a horrible, horrible, horrible reaction. I have his address. What is his address? I said grab my security 20 minutes ago. No, I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure if the policeman, uh, restrained him right now or actually placed him under arrest they had legitimate reasons to restrain him because he was acting out in the way he was acting out like they probably realized that it's a man with mental problems i like to think that his security guard which was outside as far as i understand uh, was, was talking with the guys and explaining the situation and telling them that hey man this is a mentally ill person like legitimately mentally ill person look this is what happened don't actually really believe what he's saying because he might not know what he's talking about stuff like that but if we agree that he might not know what he's talking about. If we agree that he might make stupid decisions, why do we give him a kick stream? Why are we enabling this behavior? Why is kick enabling this behavior? Kick is running right now a campaign to clean their reputation. And I gotta say, they're really not doing a good job. They're really not doing a good job because this stream was a 24 hour stream, was a long stream. In this stream, he has assaulted multiple people. The stream should have ended there. He started being paranoid in the hotel room. The stream should have ended there. There's no reason for Kick to allow the stream to exist over there. And I'm I'm really like I'm really against Kick right now. You guys are dumb as fuck, man. You guys are literally dumb as fuck. Oh yeah. Hey, record this. Security! Come in here now! They told me to stay outside. I can't come inside. Yo, for my protection, come in here. I can't come inside. They told me he can't come in. I cannot. This is wild chat. This is wild, wild, wild. And it's unfortunate because, again, we're talking about a person with mental issues. And I, I want to be absolutely clear. Just because he has mental issues, he cannot pull out that as a, you know, reverse card. Like, ah, I ran somebody over, but I have mental illness. Ah, I shot somebody, but I have mental illness. Ah, I behaved very poorly with a girl in um, in the airport but i have mental illness no as long as you're not doing anything to treat that mental illness as long as you're not taking medicine and bragging about it you have 100 percent of the fault but it wouldn't have gotten to be this bad if kick pulled the plug it wouldn't have gotten to be this bad if he actually had friends to just take this away from him and not allow him to stream because that's what's making him act like this it wouldn't have gotten this bad if the people that are watching him would have some form of empathy and would realize that that's a human when he brags about not taking medicine wake him up tell him bro take your medicine D don't watch him don't enable his behavior we can like 
a lot of people could have done something about this. First of all, Fusitu could have just pursued the treatment of his mental illness. Second of all, his friends. Third of all, Kick. Last of all, the viewers. Yet nobody did anything. Yet everybody just watched and clapped like, ah, oh, oh, he didn't take the medicine. Oh, oh look, look, oh, oh, the stupid man is calling the police on you. Oh, the lol, kick W. Like, what is wrong with people? What is wrong with people? That's wild to me, chat. That's wild to me. And ultimately, it's just a sad situation. It's just a sad, sad, sad situation because mental illness is very much a real thing. And if you're not working actively, even if you're working actively, but especially if you're not working actively to fix it, it's not going to fix itself. It's absolutely not going to fix itself. Like right now, again, we don't know. The informations are very much mixed. Uh, whereas if, uh, I mean, the information is mixed if FuzzyTube got arrested or he was just uh, detained. Either way, I think this is going to be actually something good for him. He needs a break from this. He needs to stop doing this because this is what's enabling his crazy behavior. And I'm not saying crazy just to be uh, like nasty towards him. That's what it is. It's a maniac episode. It's a maniac episode. We're talking about real mental illness over here. Now, what do you guys think about this whole situation? Let me know in the comment section down below and also in the chat.